It's Saturday morning. Woo! -hoo! You know what that means. It is time for a smoothie. So I figured I would film it and show you what I put in my smoothie. So the first thing I like to do is put in some blueberries. They're frozen. They are not organic because I went with the cheaper um, amount. So I'm going to go ahead and put um, <clears throat> just like a handful. A handful. Oh snap. But you want to make sure you get them in the um, blender. Okay. So this is about how many blueberries I put in. How much blueberries? I'm so bad with that. Okay. I got a magic bullet. It's my first time using it and I'm really excited. So we'll see how it goes. Um, the next thing I'm going to put in is organic coconut oil. This is actually a solid oil. If you see this in the stores, it's white and um, solid. But I go ahead and melt it when I'm going to put it in smoothies just because it does solidify so quickly that, um, I don't know, I just feel like it gets chunky. So I'm just going to put like a tablespoon in there. Coconut oil is so good for you. Um, I'm not going to go into the details of the benefits of each ingredient because... I have to be honest, like I know it's good for me, but I have a really hard time memorizing each thing and each benefit. So I just like put it in my little, um, you know, storage in my brain, like, okay, that's good for you. Just eat it. Don't worry about what it does or anything. But like I do the research, it's just really hard for me to remember. So maybe I need to get better at that. But anyway, um, the next thing I'm going to put in is raw goji berries and um, a cacao powder mix. This stuff is so delicious. I got it at Whole Foods and it gives um, the smoothie just a little bit of a chocolate taste. So I'm just going to put like a spoonful. This is not anything like a, um, a cut cookie cutter, you know, recipe where you have to do these measurements. Just do what you want, honestly. Like that's my motto in life. Not really. Um, a really ripe banana. I mean, literally like about to go bad kind of banana. Um, it just gives it that um, sweetness. Um, because you'll see that the next ingredient is spinach. This is organic. I just happen to have organic. Um, and it's frozen. So I'm going to go ahead and put um, a little bit of spinach in. And um, you all know the benefits of spinach. I mean, it's green. Okay, the next ingredient is kale. This is straight out of my neighbor's yard. So it's definitely organic and fresh. And I'm sorry, kale makes me want to gag. Ugh. Is that bad? That was a really strong smell. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I just shoved kale in because I know it's good for you. And even though it stinks right now, it will be good. All right. So kale is in there. Next is some almond milk. I am so funny because I watched a video on how to make your own almond milk, so that's my next endeavor. But if you check out the ingredients on almond milk, it's really, they're good, I guess. I mean, I don't really know what all of them mean. Um, and there's 40 calories per serving. Um, but I'm like, dude, I could be making almond milk. And I watched the video, and it's so easy. So that, I'm going to go ahead and um, shake this bad boy up. But... My next endeavor is to make my own almond milk. So I'm just going to do a little bit. Nothing major. Um, the next thing is my hemp protein. Um, it just gives it that extra um, protein, obviously. And it's vanilla flavored. I don't really know if I've ever tasted the vanilla. I actually didn't even realize that it was vanilla powder until I just showed it to you. So I just do, um, it's four tablespoons per serving, but I'm not going to go crazy because it honestly, you know, I don't need to. And the last ingredient is going to be my coconut water. Um, I have been really, like, sick recently and um, dehydrated, so I'm going to add this extra in. If you guys haven't heard of coconut water, it's basically, you know, straight up out of the coconut, obviously, and it's got a lot of electrolytes in it more so than Gatorade or anything like that and it's just delicious and it's really good for your skin and I could go on and on and on about it but okay so here's what the mixture looks like doesn't that just look appetizing like mmm can you make me one please Alicia I would like some of that looks like a science fair project okay so I've never used my magic bullet but I think you put this on here 
and then you just make sure it's tight. And then I'm going to flip it over. Here's my magic bullet. You just flip it over onto it. It's going to be loud. That was really easy. Look at that. I wonder if it's all mixed. I'm, I'm going to go for a little bit more. Alright, I'm having too much fun. Okay, so. I want to show you guys what it looks like. Really quick. Yes, I'm dirtying two cups. I just feel like you shouldn't be able to drink out of the cup you prepared it in. But trust me, I would do that. So this is how much it made. That's pretty cool. Let's taste it. I can taste all of it, especially the chocolate cacao or the cacao powder. All right, delicious, yummy. So that's how you make a smoothie in my book, and nothing is set in stone. You can spice it up, do whatever you want, but that's how I make this one anyway. And I'll keep doing this because I find ingredients all the time, and I'm like, throw that in. Let's throw that in. So have a great Sunday, guys. Saturday.